So you want a guide for investing. You've come to the right place. Hopefully you'll stay a while. But I'm going to be going over everything you need to know on how to pick the right investments, whether you plan on investing a week in the future, a month in the future, or you decide to touch grass and get a life and just quit Skyblock and maybe you eventually want to come back to having some money. So that's what I'm doing. First off, I want you guys to remember something. If we are able to hit 20,000 subscribers within the next 32 days, I will be giving you guys 300 million coins and a face reveal. So it's a really good deal. You should you should take it up. You should subscribe bro, like right now and get your grandma to subscribe as well. I love old people watching my videos. Um, either way, let's get into it. So I'm going to be breaking this video up into three parts. First part is going to be sh how to invest for short term investments. Then it's going to be long term investments. Then it's just going to be general tips I recommend whenever investing. Just generally. So first, let's start off with the short term. First, what are we defining as the short term? Short can be used in a bunch of different things. Anyone under 5 foot 11, anyone under 5 inches, or any time under 30 seconds. But those are all for different categories. What about this category? This category, I'm use defining short as any time between one day and one month. I'm qualifying this as short. And then long as anything above a month. So there's three cane cane. There's three key practices that we're going to be going over for all of investing, but particularly in the short term. This is how to find the best slips. Number one, the item must be useful. Number two, whenever you're investing, you should not follow the herd. Following the herd is a bad idea. And number three, the less of it there is, the better. So first, let's go into depth on the first one. Basically speaking, you want the item to be useful. This makes a lot of sense. It makes sense that items have to have use, right? There's a reason why you don't see a whole lot of disabled people working at factories, because the people want things that can actually produce stuff and not just cosmetics. And no, I'm not calling all disabled people cosmetics. Look at Stephen Hawking. He had some purpose in his life. Please take the last part as a joke. I do not want to get cancelled. I value having monetization. It's kind of crazy. But the point still stands. Buy items that actually have value. Great example. For the Technoblade event, RIP, but during the Technoblade event, and when Technoblade was still alive, there was a bunch of items that were up on his AH, or that were available to get. One of these is the Pig Mask. The Pig Mask is now going for 750,000 coins. Another item was the Dante Talisman. Dante Talisman has value, and as such, the price is around 5 million coins per. This will end at around 5 mil. Point is, pick things that have worth. That kind of just makes sense, right? If we look at anything that's cosmetic, they haven't done so well for investing. Pet skins, exotics, they haven't done too hot in the long term. So now let's go on to the next thing. Don't follow the herd. This is pretty simple. It's the classic analogy. If all your friends are jumping off a cliff, are you going to join them? Answer is yes, as long as, they, as long as I have a parachute. I may be a moron, but I ain't stupid. But the herd mentality does not work when it comes to investing. Main reason why? Because people, if everyone's buying the exact same thing, it ain't gonna matter when the update happens because there's already so much stock. It's just not a great idea. Great example of this. During the nether update, everyone was buying enchanted magma cream and enchanted blaze rods and, you know, items that people think make sense. As such, when the update dropped, the price didn't rise, like, at all, because there's already so much stock for them, because uh, everyone had already bought up, like, two double chests of them. So they did not rise up in price in the slightest. They just stayed there. But the point still stands. If someone's telling, if, if there's 10,000 people buying into, I don't even know, goblin eggs, it might not be the smartest idea to buy into goblin eggs as well. On the off chance that it does actually work, there's already so much stock, you're not going to make money. On the chance that it fails and there's nothing to do with the update, you're kind of screwed because now there's like 10,000 people who want to get rid of their item and the prices drop. So don't go with the herd. Go with literally anything else. But now we're on to the third thing. Quantity. This plays a very large part and is part of the second thing as well. For quantity, this is just how much there is and how easily it is to get them. There is four different tiers here. First off, you have normal items. Items like slime. Like any item that you can just get it. If you want this item, you can grind for it and get it. Simple as that. This includes the items, for example, like a Necron's chest plate, where there's not really a restriction. If you want a Necron's chest plate, it's RNG based, but you can just go out and grind it. Then comes the second tier. This is stuff like spooky presents, things that happen like clockwork. 
every four days, every week, every time the mayor gets elected, these items will be in cycle. Same thing goes for Diana. The rarer it is to get, the better for you if we're talking about investments. Next up, we have the very, very occasional stuff here. This is like the big brains, the counter strikes, the stuff that doesn't really come into circulation all that often at all, really. It just kind of happens. This is the third tier. Then there's the last tier. This tier is really hard to find good items for. This is items that are currently unavailable. You cannot get them. For example, purple salmon armor, ember ash armor, ember rods, like things that you cannot get anymore. Issue is most items you can't get anymore are 100% useless and only cosmetic. But if you can find an item that actually has use, you are sitting pretty. I mean, this principle makes sense. Is the reason why Logan Paul paid millions of coins for a piece of paper. I'm not joking. The Charizard. Because it was impossible to get more. I mean, they technically could have printed a new one, but you get the point. It was impossible to get another one. As such, there was very, very limited quantity. You couldn't get any more. And as such, the price is a lot higher than your average run-of-the-mill Charizard that you get from your Pokemon pack. Same thing works for in the block game. It's the reason why pet skins, occasionally some of the OG ones, are worth billions of coins. Because they're super duper hard to get. But I have an example for this. Something that I actually did and make profit off of, and you can maybe use this as a lesson to the future. Dusty Travel Scrolls. These bad boys are worth anywhere from 2 to 4 million coins per. And you then let you travel to the Forgotten Skull. You can do slash warp, if I can ever spell, warp skull and teleport to the skull, right? How do you get this, you might ask? You can't. If you look on the wiki, it says it's a drop from the Magma Boss. The wiki lies. Also, this is a bad idea for me to be running around in the Crimson Isles without armor on. But it, this is, you cannot get the Travel Scrolls by any means. The only way to get them is by having a Travel Scroll to the Magma Fields, which is dropped from the OG Magma Boss. And then when the Crimson Isle update rolled around, the Travel Scroll to the Magma Fields transformed into Travel Scrolls to the Forgotten Skull. So this is how you can make so much money, and this is how I made money. I still have like two left, I think, somewhere. I bought a stack, because I looked on Alpha, and with the, hen with the help of my friend Ususk, no, that's not it, I no, that is a real name, I'm not kidding you, with help of him, we were able to look on Alpha and be like, hey, wait a minute, that's an item that looks like it should be making money, that doesn't seem right, and then I bought a stack of magma field scrolls for 50k per and sold them for 3 million coins per so that made me 180 million coins from a piece of paper thank you uwu susk if you ever still watching my channel you probably you've probably gotten past the age of 12 and moved on now so but now let's move on to the long term investments but before we get into that first here's one investment that you need to do hitting that subscribe button it's the best investment of all time costs you nothing and can make you millions what do you gotta lose and I, like I'm gonna track your data by by you hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already there, you might as well subscribe and like. We don't discriminate anymore, okay? But anyway, let's get back into the video. Long-term investments. This is when you're taking a break from Skyblog and you still want to have your money appreciate value over time, and you know, get rich, get that Jeff Bezos money, you know, so you can buy all the hoes in the world. So what items should you invest in? You want to find an item that has all the same qualities as last time. But you're looking for a different quality, an item that continuously, slowly appreciates in value, that has, in history, just gone up and up and up and up and up with the price. Now, there is three things you can really invest into here that have constantly gone up in price, as long as you've ever known them. Um, cookie, this is one of them. People really like eating their cookies. I can see why. Most people in here are American, um, including me, but, you know. I, I like my cookie. Besides the cookie, you also have a stock of stonks, which recently has shot up in price. But since its release for like 10k, 10k per, has been continuously growing and growing and growing ever since. And the third item, this is the big boy money here, Hyperion. Hyperion. Hyperions have continuously appreciated in value. But I would not recommend buying a base Hyperion. I would recommend buying yourself a Hyperion that at least has the Wither or has the Shadow Warp ability on it. 
because holy crap is the shadow warp ability so expensive lowest bin right now is 1.16 bill if we look at the price it's 170 million coins per which is insane so Hyperions have consistently gone up in value. They're kind of like the housing markets of America. They've been like the goody, the gold old trusty. They'll work perfectly well until the admins decide to pull a 2008 and absolutely fucking bomb them. I ain't talking about like a normal type of bombing. I'm talking like a Hiroshima V2, just fucking decimating the price of Hyperions and just basically running them into the dirt. I swear, there's going to be like an update. And the Hyperions are going to get nerfed into the ground. They're going to be worse than Midas staffs. And then everybody is going to lose so much money. I'm, I'm calling it. That's going to happen one day, I swear. They're going to do something and just fuck over Mage completely. Mostly Hyperion. Either way, investing into those two things are pretty good. Just find an item that appreciates in value and is guaranteed to make you money. Best things I also recommend. Put money in your personal bank or card bank if you have either or both. And... Invest in minion setups. Best minions that are really consistent, mycelium and red sand minions, those things are absolutely banging minions right now. They make so much coins. Just check the Skyblock wiki, not the one I pixel made, the OG one, and you can see how much min money each minions make, and you'll just be chilling. I love how there's a whole page on enslavement and which money or which slaves make you the most money. I love that's a thing, and how much they cost each, you know? Love that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Generic tips, um, just don't be stupid. That's really all I have to say. Use your brains, which I know seems hard, and it is hard, but I mean, hey, yeah, just, just use your brains. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, like, a uh, peace. I'll see y'all.